just try it this way for today. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my live. My name is Robin, and I'm with Robin's Egg Blue Creations, and I'm also an independent designer with Chat Couture. Happy Saturday. I hope you've all had a great week, and I hope you all have a great weekend to come. Once you hop in, make sure you tell me hi in the comments and tell me where you're watching from. Whew, I'm out of breath. I took about 50 bajillion trips up the stairs after I hit the live button. So sorry, bear with me as I try to get my breath back. But I'm using an online StreamYard called plat uh, an online platform called StreamYard. So I'm able to go live in three places this morning. I am live on my Facebook business page. I am live on my YouTube channel. And I'm also live in my private Facebook group. And I'm just going to switch this because bothering me. There we go. So if you hear me refer to a comment that may, you may not see in your feed, that is why they might be commenting from another platform. So I see that Jason is watching from upstairs. He says, happy day after your birthday. Yes, I took yesterday off because it was my birthday. Last year in Club 40, so I'm not looking forward to the big 5-0 next year. So I got to take a drink. I am out of breath. So last year in Club 40. So today we will be using the September Club Couture transfer. It is an exclusive eight and a half by 11 transfer. The only way that you are able to get this transfer is by um, being a Club Couture member or by being a designer. And I'm going to, I need to make a camera adjustment. Hold on just a moment there. Okay, no, I can see my overhead camera and that just, it's one of my little pet peeves. So back to the Club Couture. The only way that you're able to get this transfer is by being a club member or a designer. Um, it is a monthly subscription mailed to your um, mailbox. And actually while I'm talking about it, let me bring up a graphic. So you do, along with the transfer, you do get three paste single packets. This month's colors are cl uh, Current Jam, Guava, and Shimmer Harvest. Um, you do also get an access to a how-to video and an instruction PDF sheet. You get free sh shipping on this monthly subscription. There is a three-month minimum commitment, but you are welcome to cancel after uh, any time after those three months. And in addition to the monthly transfer, you also get a flat rate $4.95 shipping rate on any additional check site orders. You also get special offers and deals exclusive to club members through Chop Couture. And this month's special is if you spend at least $100 USD or $125 uh, Canadian in a single purchase before taxes and shipping, you'll receive a 25% off bounce back coupon that you can use on any ch chalk site order of at least $50 or up to $200 in October. There's also a current um, promotion for the new Snowflake cutouts and the Snowflake trans patterns transfer that came out on Wednesday. You get 20, club members get 25% off of those cutouts. So be ch uh, check my Facebook page if you want any information on that. So we will be using this transfer and I'm going to be putting it on a wine bottle. And then we're going to be adding these little, the strand of lights to the top of the wine bottle. So stay tuned if you want to see how I make that. So once again, if you hop on, say hi in the comments so that I know that you're here. Um, and if you are watching the replay, thank you for watching. I'm going to put some of the, some of my embellishments out of the way. And before I do anything, I'm going to wipe this wine bottle with rubbing alcohol just to get some of the oils and dust and stuff off of it. It's been in my storage, so it's probably pretty dusty. Uh, that way, it just gets all the oils and stuff off of the surface. That way my paste um, will stick better. It's just kind of a habit I got into when I was making vinyl decals. And actually, let's see if I can get, if I can get some of that printing off. I didn't realize that was there. 
Yep. See, I don't know if you can see, there's some printing right there. And the rubbing alcohol does take that off. It's also good to get any, it helps to get any residue from your labels off as well. I'm just giving it a good clean and I'm not worried about the neck because we'll be at least this part of the neck because we'll be adding something else to it but you get that uh, product information off and see if we can get all of this cleaned up okay so then we're just gonna kind of let that dry I'm going to put that to the side, get rid of my probing alcohol and put it over here. Okie doke. So these are reusable. They are a silk screen transfer. They're reusable about eight to 12 times. They do have a sticky back. Um, so because of that, they, because of the re, because they are reusable, I have written the name of the transfer on the back of the backer sheet. That way I know that this backer sheet belongs to this transfer and that this is indeed the back because there are two sides to the backer sheet, a matte side and a shiny side. And you want to stick the transfer down to the shiny side. And because this is glass, I am gonna fuzz it because the transfers are notorious for being um, very sticky when it comes to putting them on glass. Even though I have used this transfer before and I have fuzzed it and you can, I mean, you can see there's lots of stuff on the back um, it will still stick to glass like it's brand new so i'm just going to lay it oops i'm on the wrong side i'm going to lay it on the terry cloth part of my towel just to get a layer of lint between that stickiness and my glass bottle and grab a couple of washcloths. I'm just going to roll these up a little bit just so that they'll kind of help hold my water or my wine bottle in place. Not totally necessary, but, but helpful. So I'm just going to lay it down and this will just kind of keep it from rolling. And I'm not going to use the design as it is, per se. Um, I am going to use this bottom border along the bottom of the bottle. And there are some, just trying to figure out which side would be the best side for the front. There's some embossed pieces. You can see the seam right there. There's another embossed piece. I think we'll make this be the front. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this down and curve it as best as I can. And I may kind of press it as I go. So I'm not going to press these, this side down just because it may distort the front side, but I'll kind of press it along as as I'm working. So I'm just going to do these first couple of leaves. And I'm going to be using Shimmer Olive, Shimmer Crimson, which um, is a retired uh, paste, but you're welcome to use Current Jam in its place. Shimmer Copper, Shimmer Olive, and shimmer pumpkin and sorry shimmer pumpkin is currently sold out but you could use orange peel and a little bit of shimmer silver and get the same um, kind of shimmer look also with um, instead of shimmer crimson you could use current jam and mix it also with either shimmer frost or shimmer silver and get the same effect i have mixed regular paste with the shimmers and it it does come out glittery okay so i'm going to open these stuff out of my way. Oops, I haven't even, I 
haven't even used that one yet. Okay. So, I'm going to grab some squeegees. And I think I'm actually also going to play with my layout a little bit. Just a different look today. Okay, so I'm going to grab some squeegees. I'm going to grab a few multi-tools and a detail tool just so I can have different sizes of squeegee. So here's the smallest squeegee. This is the squeegee on the multi-tool. And then I have various sizes of squeegees here. And I have to get these squeegees, I've just cut this one in half just to get some smaller sizes. Okay, so I think just trying to decide what colors. That's one of the hardest things is just deciding what colors you want where. Okay, I think I'll do, and I'm going to have to do the paste and peel method. And what that means is I'll paste a small area and then I'll peel up that transfer and dry that area. That way, as I go along and work, my paste is not drying in my silk screen transfer because if it dries in your transfer, it will most likely pull up um, your design when you pull up the transfer, it will get stuck in that in the silk screen. So I'm just using Shimmer Harvest on this kind of twig like foliage trying to cover the entire area smoothing out all of my lines then I'm going to use another multi-tool in the shimmer olive and I'm just picking up oops, a little bit and then I'm just going to do this little leaf right here I like these multi tools because it's a lot like holding a pencil and I have a lot of control with this little tool so I'm just going to wipe the excess off while it hangs out there and then I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this part up sorry it's probably going to be a lot of pasting and pulling but I do not want oh that's sticky I do not want it to stick and I've used this transfer and I fuzzed it and it's still super sticky on glass mm. I want to make sure that it doesn't stick so hard that it that you stretch your transfer when you're pulling it off. So I'm just going to dry this and then I'll just gently lay the transfer back down when I'm finished. You can also, instead of uh, chop paste or ink. You could also use etching cream with the transfers on glass. That gives a very pretty effect. And it, the etching cream does not harm the transfers. adhere it back down. I'm just going to gently lay it over where I had chalked and then I'm just going to adhere oops, the other pieces. And you also, I kind of forgot, you want to make sure your surface comes back to room temperature, especially if you're using 
uh, like an embossing tool as your heat source, as your drying source. Um, otherwise, you might melt your transfer. Okay, so I'm going to use the hot mess technique or the marbling technique on this particular leaf. So I'm going to use a couple of different squeegees for that. So I'm going to mix um, shimmer crimson. And I'm just going to put little blobs all over that particular leaf. And then I'm going to use shimmer copper, I believe, with this squeegee. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to put little blobs of color And then I'm going to use a separate squeegee and get this size. And I'm just going to kind of mix the two colors together. And I'm also going to grab a paper towel because this will create a new color. Hi, Ashley. I don't want to, I won't be able to put it back into my container. So I'll just, so I'm just mixing the two colors together. And I'm just going to wipe it off on a paper towel. Ashley, how did your little make and take event go this morning? Okay, so there's that leaf. I'm going to pull that up, um, making sure that the other side is stuck. Uh, I should have fuzzed more. So I'm just gently pulling it up so I don't stretch the transfer. see a little color variation there. what we have on that one. You can see a little bit of the copper and a little bit of the crimson. And again, I'm going to, it's a little warm, so I want to make sure that that comes back to room temperature before I lay that back down. It's, it's cooling off. Okay, so I'm just going to gently lay that down and I'm going to work back on this side. Make sure that it's adhered well. So then let's add some shimmer pumpkin. And again, my apologies, this shimmer pumpkin is sold out right now, but you could mix orange peel and shimmer frost or shimmer silver together to get the same uh, kind of glittery look. I'm going to do a couple of these dots in Shimmer Pumpkin while I have that on my squeegee. And let's add Shimmer Olive to this color, or to this leaf. And then Let's do this little leaf in Shimmer Crimson. And again, you could use, that's a retired color, but you could use Current Jam and Shimmer Frost or Shimmer Silver. And then let's do this leaf solely in copper. kind of playing with chalking a bigger area to see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't dry. I think we'll be good though. And then let's add 
Let's do these little dots and shimmer all of, add a little bit more green in there. Okay, let's see what that does. I'm gonna pull it up carefully so I don't stretch my transfer. Okay, get that dried off. Does anyone have any big plans for the weekend? We're just going to hang out around the house, eat lots of birthday cake and ice cream. Okay, so now I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to grab a couple of little extra pieces of backer sheet just because I don't want that to lay back down and possibly pull everything up. I'm just going to stick some backer sheet down there just to kind of keep all that from sticking. Okay, so now we're gonna turn back to this side. And we'll finish this part up. So we'll do some, hi Cindy, you like the idea of the bottle? I, um, it came across, well, I saw, I've seen somebody do like a big candle vase with this transfer and then I had a, a vinyl project actually that came through my email. It was just like this, only they put vinyl on it. I thought, hey, I could use the, the Club Couture transfer in the exact same way. And I've had these cork lights for forever, and I haven't done anything with them. So we'll be using these little cork lights later. When I was saying before, um, you could use paste, you could use ink and uh, heat set it. But you could also use etching cream. Um, with our transfers and it does not um, hurt the transfer at all and then you can also follow up the etching cream with um, like there's a product called rub and buff and it comes in gold pewter silver copper so after you etch you can add some of the rub uh, rub and buff to it and it gives the etching um, some color which is really pretty as well I'm just using Shimmer Crimson, which again, if you use Current Jam and Shimmer Frost or Shimmer Silver together, you can get the same color because that color is retired. Shimmer Pumpkin is currently sold out, but you could use Orange Peel and a Shimmer Frost or Shimmer Silver. And then let's add some Shimmer Olive to this leaf. And then let's add a little bit of orange to this dot and then this dot. Okay, so let's peel all of that up. And again, when you're working on glass, even if you've used a transfer that's been very well used, you still want to fuzz. Because I have used this transfer once or twice already, and I fuzzed it a couple times, and it's still uber sticky. Okay, so I'm just going to lay that to the side because I'm going to use it for the back side. Cindy asked, do you have a snowman or Christmas trees that would work? for this 
they have to buy and try it. There is a new, a cute little snowman um, transfer. It's, I'll have to see if I can pull up a picture of it and I'll show it to you here after a while. Um, but there are some Christmas tree patterns that would work um, that just released. That would be really cute. And you could just stuff the bottle with evergreen or um, gosh, even cranberries would look cute with the lights. Um, yeah. Pine cones inside, little miniature pine cones um, interspersed with us. The little cork lights would be really pretty. Good idea, Cindy. I think, Cindy, I posted, um, don't go now, but I think I posted the Christmas trees and the snowman on my Facebook page the other day. It's either on my page or in my group. But I'll try to pull it up on my phone before I'm done. Okay, I think that part's done. So here's what we have so far. And I'll have to go around the back side here a little bit. Um, and so um, I think, yep, I can just flip this part of the transfer over. And we can use the, this top side for to kind of fill in the back side. And I think because I haven't, let's see, I'm just trying to, I think I'm going to put that there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. But I am going to put. The backer sheet right here just to kind of protect this part of the design that we've already done and i think i'm going to put the piece of transfer or backer sheet right here plus that's kind of a visual to me that says don't chalk there otherwise i will forget and i will chalk there thank you cindy also keep in mind if you're working on glass and you're using a heat source as your drying source, like a, a an embossing tool, or even a a hot a hair dryer on a hot setting. Make sure you let your glass come back to room temp, because you I have melted a transfer that way before. Okay, so let's do. I'm just trying to add in. A, Few more colors but let's do the this big leaf in the shimmer olive this leaf right here sorry you probably can't see some of that and because this is on glass and I'm using paste, there isn't really a way to set it or seal it. Because um, if you sprayed it, then it, you would end up with a kind of a cloudy glass. Um, so this would be kind of a dry dust um, decor piece. But again, if, you, if you're done with fall, you can always just wipe it off and do another design. And just take all the stuffing out and just keep changing the inside items and your design out for the different seasons of holidays. Kind of like I do with my glass block and my um, the, the uh, glass container candle that I did about a month ago. That can all get changed out with the seasons and the holidays. So I'm just trying to add some color. I haven't used I did use copper on that flower, but let's use copper down on this flower. And then let's use shimmer crimson. Oops, wrong. I didn't want to use that. 
on this flower right here. And then we've got some of those little dots. Let's use some Shimmer Harvest. I'm just going to use the little detail tool. So I haven't used this color much on this particular area. Let's add some crimson in. that looks like. So I'm going to peel it off carefully. Lay that to the side and let it hang out for a little bit. Remember, if you want this transfer, the only way you can get it is to be a club member or a designer. And there's multiple levels to being a designer. You can just be a designer just for the fun of it, just to get the items at a discount price for as a hobbyist. Um, you could be a designer to get the discount to make finished goods to sell. You can be a designer and host the workshops. You can be a designer and actually build a team. And there's lots of perks to being a club member. Okay, that's dry. Okay, so I have a little hole here and I have a small hole here. So I just need to find some pieces on the transfer that will fit there. That won't be overwhelming. So I haven't used this little piece right here, and I think it'll fit. And that's the cool thing. You don't have to use the transfer exactly how it shows. And I'm not even using it in the same orientation that it is on the transfer. Again, I'm going to protect the rest of my design with some extra pieces of backer sheet. Uh -oh. There. Okay, so I'm going to turn that. Okay, so we'll do this little piece. Let me look and see. Yeah, we'll just guess. Let's use uh, Shimmer Crimson. I really like this color. I didn't get a chance to use it much before it retired. And I do have a shopping cart link in the description of the videos and it will fill your cart with um, all of the product except the Club Couture transfer that you would have to enroll in. You would have to add that to your shopping cart. Um, and then you can add or delete to your shopping cart um, based on your shopping needs today. Okay, so let's dry that real quick. I was going to do the whole bottle with these, with these axe fall foliage accents, 
Did I think that we would be here for all, I would, we would be here all weekend doing that? So I may try to use parts of the word, like maybe just the hello, or I could even go back in with um, some individual font letters and just spell out fall. You know. The hello may be pretty. And then let's fill in one more little hole right here. So let's let's do the we'll do the other piece to that. So let's stick some backer sheet over most of this. It doesn't stick to the rest of my design. Let's stick this piece up here just so it doesn't stick as much. Rub that down. And let's use Shimmer Olive. And when I was sourcing wine bottles, I did one of two things. We used to have a recycling center here in town where you could just walk in and dump all your stuff. So I would occasionally just raid the wine bottle bin and get um, wine bottles and bring them home and clean them up. Or when that recycling center closed, um, I just, the, the last thing I did was I posted on my Facebook page and said, hey, friends that drink alcohol, do you have any wine bottles I could have? And so I was able to source wine bottles that way. so far. Oops, I forgot I didn't have the... This is what we have so far. I forgot I didn't have my front-facing camera turned on. Okay, so now I just need to decide if I want to add the word hello. Let me put it back on its backer sheet so you guys can see it. So I could add the word hello and maybe even add these two accents. I just don't, I don't think, I think autumn is too large. It wraps around, but maybe I could just do hello. What do you think? Or should I just leave it the way it is? It's also going to have leaves and stuff on the inside. Should I just leave the foliage around it and leave off any words? And I could always add a tag up here that said, Hello, maybe, or fall. I have a little tag over here. I think we'll just leave it like that. I think we've got plenty on there. But I'm going to put some of this stuff aside, and I'm going to wash my transfer really quick so you guys can see how that's done. I'm going to put some of this stuff away. Jason says, I'd leave the words off. I kind of, I think I agree. Um, I'm going to grab, sorry, <laughs> one of my little messy trays here to put all my stuff in. Sorry, you had to see the back of my head and all that. Okay. These are clean. That's dirty. And clean. So let's put that off to the side. I'm going to grab. So what I have over here beside me is a, just a tub of water. Um, and I just kind of, and I even have this tub of, this bucket in, tub in my utility sink when I uh, use it. And I just kind of, kind of scrub for lack of a better word of the front 
side of the transfer on the bottom of the bucket just to kind of help uh, be an abrasive com component. And then I take the board eraser and we do, I do sell these in my chalk site shop. I get it wet and then you just take uh, the board eraser across the front side of the transfer. And it gets all of that stuff off. And you, there will be a little bit of residue from the shimmers. It will leave most. It will leave your transfers kind of sparkly. Make sure I got most of it off. I'm going to go one more time across the the transfer, the front, and then let's bring that out. And then I'm going to lay out my towel. And I'm going to put it shiny side or the front side down on a towel and grab a disinfecting wipe. And it can be any brand. And then you just use the disinfecting wipe on the back side and it gets off where some of my chalk paste bled through. And this also helps get some of that lint off that you put on earlier with the towel. A little bit of bleeding right there. And again, these are reusable about eight to 12 times, depending on how well you take care of them. And then I'll just stick it back on its backer sheet and it will be ready to store. There you go. Pretty easy. So I'm just going to lay that to the side. I'm going to keep those out. In case I... Okay, so now we're going to grab my space off here a little bit. Dry that off. Okay, so now we're going to grab all of our goodies. Okay, so now we're going to grab some of our leaves. I probably should have done this ahead of time, but I was not prepared. We're just going to cut some of these off. Yep, I should have, sorry, I should have done this ahead of time. My apologies. And I just got these at my local department store. I didn't even go to a craft store. Because these were going to be in the inside of the bottle, I did not invest in quality materials. Although, these are pretty leaves. cutting all these off. I don't know how many I'm going to need. I may not have enough, but I also have another bush over here I can steal from. Throw that away. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my cork lights and I have, they just come in a little box like this. They're just all rolled up and it just has a plastic cork on it. So if you need any, I have some. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and turn them on. And I'm going to unwrap this end and then they just uncurl. Okay. 
and they're on a wire, so they're very bendable. So I'm just going to sh literally shove these down into my bottle. And I'll kind of rearrange as I go. I do have a skewer that will help kind of move stuff around. So then it just fits in the top just like that, but we're not quite finished. So I think what I need to do is probably I'm just going to roll these leaves up. And I do have a skewer here. I need some assistance. And then they'll, they literally unfurl when they get into the glass bottle. So I just roll them up and I'm just going to shove them down in there. And I don't know if you can see that when it goes in because of the, the plastic veins in the leaves, it literally, they literally unfurl by themselves. And then you can use the skewer to kind of push them in place. So I'm just going to keep doing that. And I would um, I would keep filling it up. I'm not going to for the sake of time because I want to show you how I want to decorate the neck of the bottle. But I will finish the rest of this off camera. But yeah, you just want to just keep stuffing it full of leaves. And then uh, you can use the skewer to kind of bring the lights uh, to the surface of the bottle if they're kind of, if they kind of get buried under the leaves. Put in a few more. No, I'm just literally stuffing it in the neck. And then it just pops open in the bottle. Okay, so we'll put those to the side. Let's just put those on. And so then I'm going to take some twine, some jute twine. I'm going to bring my hot glue gun in. And I'm going to secure one end to the neck of the bottle, maybe, there. And I'm just going to lay the jute in the hot glue just to get it started. And then I'm literally just going to wrap the twine around the neck of the bottle. And you can lay down some hot glue every now and then if you want to, or if you need to. You could use yarn, you could use ribbon, uh, macrame cord, fabric strips. I think I'm just going to go up to the lip where the, before the this, I think this was a screw top wine bottle. 
So I'm just going to go up to that lip. And I'm going to lay down some hot glue. And then I'm going to cut that off. I can find some scissors. Maybe. There. There we go. Whoops. This part came undone. Let's get some of that old glue off. I have to re glue that on there. I'm just laying down some glue because the bottom part came off. I don't think I was quick enough in getting it stuck down. Thanks, Jason. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And then I think I'm just going to add, I'm trying to remember where, um, trying to see what part of the design I want to be the front. I had it, what I thought was going to be the front, but I think I'm going to change my mind. Okay, so I'm just going to add, got some embellishments on here that I could add in, like this, I kind of like the pine cone. So I'm going to cut it off, leaving more stem than I probably need. And I kind of like this cattail, but the pine cone might actually be too big. Actually, I think I need some smaller pine cones. I also have these little um, laser cut leaves that I found at, believe it or not, the dollar store. Maybe we'll add those instead. I think the pine cone is too big. glue these two together. jute again and I'm going to make just a kind of a an easy bow so I'm going to leave a tail here and then I'm just going to create all the side loops just going back and forth creating loops I think we'll do three on each side Oops. four okay so then I need to cut my tail again so I, now I need to cut the other side of the tail and then I think I'll use my smaller twine. Just cut a piece off. Um, okay, you stay there. I think I'm just going to kind of tie this in the middle. Cindy says, I got to make some of these now. I'll be. <laughs> You've got to make some, so you'll be contacting to order some supplies for sure for fall and Christmas. Perfect. Um, and remind me before I get off, I will show you the snowman and the Christmas patterns. So I'm j I just tied a knot, and I'm going to grab my little twine bow that I made. And I'm just going to put that in my small twine here. I'm going to tie it tight. That's the sound of me pulling it tight. And I think before I 
pull it completely through. I think I'm just going to put I think I'm just going to put it through one of the veins of the leaf and I'll just tie it on that way. I may have to add a little bit more decor, but I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I probably should have put it under the glue or under the bow. And then I'm going to pull my tail toward the front and I'm just going to tie a little knot at the end and then that way the end can kind of fray naturally. And then I'll do that to the other side. Pull it toward the front. Tie a knot. And we'll just kind of un unwind that one. So there we go. There is our little embellishment. Let me uh, exit solo mode. So here is our jar so far and I haven't filled it up all the way but I will fill it at least to the neck with light with leaves and then this the lights have an on off switch. So there you go. So let me I've got my phone over here. I could try to show it to you on the computer but um, it's just as easy to do it this way. And I might go back to this mode. Let's see. I can find all that stuff that I posted. Jason says, but we're keeping that one. I like it. Well, I'll make more, but I think I'll make some for definitely for vendor bingo next month. Let's see. Sorry. Okay, so here are um, it might be uh, I don't know. It might be easier. Here are the Christmas trees. It might be easier to pull. And here are the Christmas tree patterns. So you could just use um, the Christmas trees by themselves on the glass jar. But there are also um, the tree cutouts. Can you see that, Cindy? There. And let me pull up the. Here's here are the tree cutout or the tree cutout patterns. Um, and you asked about a snowman. Um, this is the snowman. So here they put him on as simple shapes. So it's just his eyes, his nose, his mouth, and you can add buttons. And then here's the transfer, and it does come with sentiments. I think he's adorable. So he'd be cute on a wine bottle. And instead of chalking the scarf, you could use a piece of flannel and tie it around the bottom, or even, yeah, you would tie it around the bottom of the bottle for his scarf. Um, I think that would be super cute. And then I... Um, and I did reference it before, but here are the snowflake cutouts, and those are 25% off for Club Couture members this month. And then there are the cutouts. Super cute. Yeah, I think the snowman would look really cute. You gave me another idea. Um, I was trying to think if there was... There's a whole bunch more. Um, let's see if I can find the... I know there's another transfer that has trees on it. Let's see if I can pull it up real fast. I'm in the catalog right now. Um, there's this A size transfer. It's tiny, so it would be... This is only a 5 by 7 transfer, but you could also use those trees. And those would look cute um, just randomly all over the body of the wine glass, uh, the, the wine jar. And that one's a size A, so it's $9.99. Um, I'm trying to think what else might look good. Even, well, those snowflakes would probably be too big. Just trying to think what else. 
this joy would be really pretty. It's a five by seven transfer, so it would fit perfect um, on the wine bottle. Yeah, lots of lots of ideas. You could even take this is a B size transfer, so you could use some of the subway art from that transfer um, on a portion of the wine bottle. So yeah, lots of ideas. Um, Cindy says you can just get. Yeah, you can get, there are, let me pull up the, the catalog. There are 15 colors that come in paste singles. So if you look at the catalog, um, like on this eucalyptus, there are three different lines. It comes in a, a paste jar, it comes in a single, and it comes in an ink. So there are 15 colors, so uh, couture, Coral, candy apple, papaya, bumblebee, meadow, which is your green, eucal uh, oh wait, uh, yeah, meadow, eucalyptus, couture teal, ocean mist, marvelous, black, white, shimmer, um, gold, and shimmer silver coming paste packets. And then there's also palette packs that you can get. So there is a Christmas palette pack that comes with candy apple, shimmer spruce, shimmer gold, shimmer silver, black velvet, and bright white. There's also a spooky pack, which is kind of your holiday color, your Halloween colors. And then there's a grateful pack. And there are some shimmer that some of the new shimmer colors in these palette packs. And they are $13.99 for a set of five paste singles and then the individual paste singles are two dollars and 49 cents yeah i will um i can post this on my business page i'll post a graphic of that so you can see what um singles come what the, what singles come in the little single packs or what colors come in the single packs okay that is all i have for today but i will finish filling um this full of leaves and I will let you see the finished product. Um, I'll post a picture on my page. Um, I will be live again tomorrow at four with another project. I haven't decided what I want to do yet, but if you have any ideas or if you have any particular transfers that you want to see me use, um, if I happen to have those in my stock, then I can do those. But uh, thanks for watching today. Uh, thanks, Cindy. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, there's anything you ever think I can do to improve my videos or um, make them more fun, let me know. But if not, have a great rest of your weekend and thank you for watching. See you later.